Well, it's great. Let's let's talk a little bit while the technician works. First of all, first of all, it's good to see you. Yes, it's good to see you too, nephew. That's right. That's right. And uh, we got good news now. Now we can talk, right? Yes, we can talk. So what are we talking about here? Well, we're talking about the technician and uh, Charlo facing off for the WBC Midway Championship of the World. That's a big deal. Yes. The, announce, the announcement was huge. Uh, double headliner pay-per-view. I don't think that's ever been done before. Has it? I don't think so. It, it, I mean, it's, it's a good look, especially around the situations that we have going on now. Um, we have to make the best of it. And, and watch it, watch it. Sabrina, watch it. And um, we, we're going to get ready for it, and, and we're going to win this title. Well, I know that because the other guy was Canelo, right? So I know that you wouldn't have complained if it was Canelo. But I think that, you know, based on us having our conversations, you kind of wanted Charlo. You got Charlo. Right. You feel like you can beat Charlo. I listen, there, there's nobody that I don't think this young man can't beat. <laughs> All right, there are people that I don't want him to fight, but there's nobody I don't think he can't beat. Um, he's always coming in ready to work and he's a fantastic contender mm -hmm. um, and he's a wonderful human being so I don't think there's anything he can't do well I uh the last time I spoke to you I said something to the effect of like that I that I think the odds would open up with Charlo a favor I actually just checked and it turns out that Vegas agrees man that Sergey he's plus 105 it's like a pick'em fight 50-50 right, right even the even the bookies got it this way so I mean, again, what do you think about that? What are your thoughts on that? Jamal being a much more high-profile fighter. Well, I mean, the the real people know that Sergey is the real deal, and they know that this is not an easy affair for anybody that want, that happens to fight the technician. So he's bringing it, and um, this is his swan song. This is his third attempt at a world title. I thought he won the second one, um, but we didn't get it, but we can't fail this time. Coach, I'm gonna sneak in a question about Edgar Berlanga, because uh, it relates to the bookies too. Uh, when he came into his fight in Vegas, they started the over-under on that fight at uh, over under one and a half rounds. So that's to say that the odds makers thought that he would not, uh, that it would go past the first round. In other words, they didn't. They, they they were saying it will go past. It's whether or not it's going to go past one and a half rounds or more. Right. Edgar came out and stopped them in one again. Right. So, I mean, how real is he? Well, I'll put it to you like this. Um, everyone thought that this was going to be his his quote unquote tester bout, right. where he was going to go more than one round. And my thing is. I, I train guys to not go to decisions. I don't want decisions. Right. And um, he has the firepower and finesse to be that person to do it. So we worked in the back. I told him, I said, because everyone is saying, oh, you have to do round, you have to do round. I didn't want that to get into his head where he's thinking, oh, you know, I got to let the guy off the hook if I hurt him right, or something right, like right. that. So I said, nephew, when you get him hurt, there's no overtime in boxing. You finish the job. So he said, okay, uncle. I said, I don't care what. I said, you be you. That's the most exciting thing about what you do. You are unrelentless. You are a monster machine in that ring. Stay that way. And that's what he did. It was a quick fight, but what, uh, what impressed you the most that night? Uh, what impressed me the most was that he started using his jab, even though it was a couple seconds. <laughs> he started using his jab, he maintained his cool, and we worked on something in the back. A lot of people might not recognize, but it's what we call the snatch and shoot, AKA what the Europeans like to do a lot. They like to drag your protective hand down and fire a shot. Right. Well, we worked on that in the back, and I said, if he slays on those ropes, Edgar, this is what I want you to do. He practiced it just before he went into the ring. And he pulled it off perfectly. Was that the series of punches to where he, he hit him to the body, I think two times really hard, got him to kind of fold up for a second and then came up top and... Yes. That's what that was, right? I thought that that, yes. I thought that, that was uh, amazing. Right? Yes, he did it. And, and the reason why he had to end up doing push-ups was because I asked him to hook off the right hand. 
and he didn't hook off the right hand. Was it because the guy wasn't standing anymore? Or? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, basically because when you get in there with much better competition, you have to do everything correctly. Right. You have to articulate your attacks and have to be sharp. So that's what we wanted to work on. And um, I mean, I give him really an A for the performance. It was wonderful, it was spectacular. But I need him to do those things that I know will keep him safe while he's doing it. This is your third time bringing Sergey to the, to the promised land. How invested are you in, in him winning, winning a title on, a, uh, on an emotional level as, a, as his coach? Well, like I told you before, he's a wonderful young man. I mean, there's not many people who I enjoy being at the gym before they come so that we can work. He's one of them. He's a fantastic young man. He's not a prima donna. And I've worked with prima donnas in the past, and I'll never work with another prima donna as long as I live. He, he listens. He doesn't have much to say other than, what would you like me to do? And that's how a young man becomes a world champion. How do you see Sergey winning? Uh, he's going to box. He's going to frustrate him. Keep him off balance, and that's all I can say. Tough for a fight, you think? Or, or easier than other people, than people might think? Well, I mean, Charlo is a tough young man. He's tough and strong. And so is Sergey. Um, I think Sergey has the experience factor, just in the capability. And um, he never loses his, his um, balance or, or loses his, his frame of mind. And um, I think that's when you'll realize how good Sergey is. Hey man, Coach Trey, as always, thank you, appreciate it. All the love, all the love. Hold on one second before we stop. Little brother, come over here. I, I, can't, I can't stop introducing this young man. This is Little Sergey. We call him Little Sergey, but it's the... <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? AKA my little brother, and I say it with the accent. Every time I say it to him, it's with the accent. This young man is one of the best young strength and fitness coaches on the planet. And actually, I watch him because he's absorbing our knowledge right now. He's making it easy for Gary and me to get old because he's doing everything right. Well, Gary said he's one of the best at wrapping hands, too. Oh, listen, listen. This young man, he took it, Gary showed him how to wrap hands, and now he's a he's a trying to surpass Gary. Is he better than you yet? He's the best. Oh. <laughs> Listen, this young, he's a wonderful individual. I, I can't wait. I can't wait for him to touch all the fighters that we have. We have so many fighters that team has it. This man is going to be a legend. He's going in the Hall of Fame. Mark my words, I said it. He's going in the Hall of Fame one day because of his work ethic. His personality, his precision, and his craftsmanship, and because of his attitude. Well, we can't we can't very well go on calling him Sergey Junior then if he's going to be in the Hall of Fame. So let's what's the real name? What's your real name, sir? So we can get it on record. Sergey Gorchinsky. Sergey Gorchinsky. Okay, and are you? Did you know Sergey from growing up from your country? Or are you? Is uh, Sergey a friend of yours? Yeah, we trained with uh, one coach, my father. Oh, Sergey's, yeah. uh, your father was his coach in the amateurs? Yes. What do you remember about Sergey in the amateurs? A lot of things. I can, like. Can was Sergey like, knocking people out in the amateurs? Of course. <laughs> Anybody I know? I know? Um, you know, it's a lot of fight. You have a lot of fight in the amateurs. So I, I Sergey and Usyk. He fight against Usyk. And and uh, in amateurs? Yes. Did he win yes. or Usyk? One time lose, one time win. Oh, we gotta do. We gotta do it one more time. <laughs> no, Usyk too big. <laughs> too big. Too big. <laughs>